Ren from Hallowed Be Thy Game, and today we're talking about my top 10 favorite JRPG parties. Let's check it out. Before we begin, I just want to give a quick disclaimer that games like Mass Effect are not going to be on today's list as this is going to be strictly for JRPGs. I will also be putting no restriction on one per franchise or anything like that. My metric for gauging this will be completely on my love for the cast of characters and their interactions with one another. And with that, let's get to number 10, Chrono Trigger. There can be no doubt that the time we're introduced to a cast of characters in a game can play a very significant part in how we feel towards them. For me, the cast of Chrono Trigger and their adventures together will always be synonymous with cool summer evenings sitting with my brothers in front of our CRT and playing it on PlayStation. Yes, I know. I don't know how we got through it either. But Chrono and the gang are such a fun and supportive group of heroes that I have nothing but warm and fuzzies for. In fact, with every entry on this list, I find myself at times wanting to hop back into the worlds and start new adventures with them. Chrono Trigger is nostalgia incarnate, and this band of heroes easily makes it into my top 10 list. Number 9. Trails of Cold Steel, Class 7. Now I'm going to go ahead and limit myself when it comes to the Cold Steel series. If you are unaware, these games have a gimundo sized cast of characters with so many lovable party members. However, since I have only played the Cold Steel series, I am closest to Class 7, which is the playable cast of the majority of Cold Steel 1 and 2. The major shoutouts here would obviously be my boy Reen and his canon romance, Emma. Look, she's canon in my heart. Now, Reen himself is your typical good guy anime protagonist, but he does have a dark and troubled side that he has to come to rely on his friends in Class 7 to help him control and overcome his personal demons. I love this cast, and honestly, the hefty length of every Cold Steel game only serves to have even more fun adventuring with my favorite party members. Number 8. Tales of Vesperia one thing the Tales games have always intrigued me about is the loyal fan base to their favorite titles party. I will be the first to admit that I need to dive further into this beloved franchise and Vesperia stole my heart. Yuri and the squad are so real and honest to themselves. The real and genuine dialogue between the party always have me fully invested in their story and their own personal growth. I have stated before that Yuri is one of my all-time favorite heroes in gaming, and he is absolutely supported by an incredible party. Yuri, Raven, Rita, and Judith, God, I love them all. When they're on screen, they each have a dominating presence, and the story writers knew how to take your typical anime tropes and offer an intriguing, unlikely party and turn it into the one of the most endearing motley crew in JRPGs. Number 7, Final Fantasy VI. Final Fantasy VI not only is one of my favorite casts in all of JRPGs, but it is also in my top 5 favorite games of all time. Final Fantasy VI is a master class in storytelling, and may I just once again hop on my soapbox and say that this game needs a remake. Big shout out to both Edward, Cyan, and obviously Celeste. We are able to grow with this cast of characters through the intense amount of hardship and adversity they face in gaming's greatest villain, the clown prince himself, Kefka. Some of the most iconic and powerful moments in gaming are contained within the confines of Final Fantasy VI, and a great reason for that is because of the outstanding cast of characters. On top of such a unique and distinct cast of characters, they also offer such a diverse range of combat builds that are incredible to customize. I cannot sing the praises of this game enough, and if you have not had the absolute pleasure of playing this game, then I urge you to give it a shot for this cast of characters alone. 
The iconic look and personality are instantly recognizable. And I mean, come on, you get to have a Moogle in your party. Heck yes. Number six, Persona 4. Gosh, every time I make one of these lists, I face an internal crisis of how I can choose between my favorites. How can I choose? Well, it's safe to say that from here on out, it just gets even more brutal. I should have limited myself to one per franchise. Oh well. Playing for keeps, let's do this. Arguably the best cast of characters in all of JRPGs. Chie, best girl. Look, from the very start of Persona 4, you immediately feel the same sort of uncomfortable distress you feels when he is moving to a new area and going to a new school. Immediately you gravitate towards Chie and Yukiko as your friends. Then you witness your best bro Yosuke, and then you realize, this is my band of idiots, and I love them. God, nothing was more painful than seeing the credits roll on a game where you love the characters. Obviously, the entire party is amazing. I love them, especially my chair-wielding brochacho Kanji. Legit, I would tackle the Mega Beef Bowl challenge. I love them so much, and even now, I want to head back to Inaba with them and jam out in our cool band. Number 5. Final Fantasy IX No matter how long I live, there will always be a warmth inside my chest when I join Zidane as we try to steal the princess from Alexandria. High Fantasy has never been done better in terms of character design. Each member of the cast immediately evokes a nostalgic longing in my heart for simpler days when we could team up with Dagger, Vivi, and Steiner, and the rest to try and stop the intimidatingly beautiful Kuja. The banter and comical innocence of this title is truly a contender for my favorite Final Fantasy game ever made. My brothers and I really banded together back in the day to beat the Super Nintendo and PS1 era Final Fantasies, and they've always had a special place in my heart. I really believe though that for me, Final Fantasy IX captures the essence of every Final Fantasy that came before 7 and delivers it in such a way that I couldn't imagine thinking of the PlayStation 1 and not being immediately reminded of gorgeous landscapes in that incredible group of unlikely heroes that fight back the darkness. Number 4. Xenoblade Chronicles I've mentioned before that Shulk is without question one of my favorite heroes in all of gaming, and that isn't even including the entire party of Xenoblade Chronicles. I won't spoil who the final party member is, but suffice to say that every party member was so relatable and lovable. Well, maybe they weren't always lovable. However, Shulk and Reen's friendship is one of the best depictions of a real friendship I've ever played in a JRPG. In fact, it goes for the entire cast. It can be jarring at times when you're playing a game with such high stakes happening in the story to where the fate of humanity is at risk, yet we have time to deal with upset or hurt feelings between the cast. Look, I'm guilty of really loving these games too, and in fact, one of them might be on this list. However, the cast is a confident band of heroes that still has room to grow, yet they are fiercely determined to change the fate of humanity for the better. Xenoblade Chronicles cast is the group of heroes you want on the mission to save the future. Number 3. Dragon Quest XI Look at this man. Great loud Jesus. Look at this man. Look at him. Any party that has Silvando is immediately catapulted to top five. In all honesty, the cast of Dragon Quest XI is very well a contender for my number one slot. And actually, let's be honest. Depending on when you ask me, any on this list could be number one. However, Silvando, Eric, Veronica, and yes, even Serena stole my heart. I mean, it even has the extremely intense and total killer queen of Jade. And she's only even outshined by the man, the myth, the legend himself. We all deserve a friend like Silvando. However, never has exploring with a group of heroes warmed my heart quite like the quiet nights by the campfire with this perfect group of heroes. 
Dragon Quest XI captures childlike wonder and makes it feel as though you've known these characters for your whole life. And now that you're back together, well, it's time to go adventuring. Number 2. Persona 5. Did you see it, Gaiman? Yeah, probably. Look, there are a multitude of factors as to why Persona 5's cast has just solidified itself as one of my favorite group of heroes in gaming. Joker, even though a silent protagonist, still is a leader to a band of thieves that <clears throat> stole my heart. Sorry, I, I couldn't help myself, but I digress. Makoto, Ryuji, Yusuke, Haru, and Futaba are all my crew. Yeah, even Morgana. But the story of Persona 5 takes these unlikely friends and thrusts them into a game of cat and mouse that had me literally on the edge of my seat at times, almost resetting the console, throwing it out the window, because I thought I'd screwed up their lives. And then there would be times when I'd be laughing so hard I was crying. Yusuke, you beautiful, weird summer child. This game has it all. Literally, my love for these characters has been forged over 120 hour runtime of Persona 5 Royal. And yet the game still ended too soon for me. I can't get enough of them. And this is the game that introduced me to my favorite battle system in all of turn-based gaming. The Phantom Thieves are titans of all of gaming to me and I will always have a place in my heart for them. Number one, Final Fantasy VII. There's a saying that goes, the whole is greater than the sum of their parts. Some of you watching may have a very difficult time understanding why so many people have such a fierce love and dedication to the cast of Final Fantasy VII. I grew up with this cast of characters. I honestly owe everything to them. I wouldn't be doing a YouTube channel about RPGs or turn-based gaming at the very least if it wasn't for the cast of Final Fantasy VII. My relationship with these characters goes so much deeper than that, though. When I was younger, there was no character cooler than Cloud. But as I've grown, my love and adoration for Tifa and Barrett have grown even more than that. Literally, this cast is all or nothing to me. There is no group of protagonists on this list that I can truly say I love them all and all of them together. The banter and the interactions are everything to me. I cannot imagine any of these characters without the others. The remake clinched that for me, and it is why I hold it in such high regard. Clown by himself would be unbearable. Yet, within the context of the entire group, he leads my favorite cast of characters that are able to humanize a broken soldier suffering from a devastating amount of PTSD. The adventures, the companionship, <laughs> well, my brothers and I grew up with this group. And no matter how much time passes or who may come and go in my life, when I hear Aerith's theme, I'm right back beside my brothers playing Final Fantasy VII. Well, everyone, before we wrap up this video, I wanted to go ahead and share some of the amazing responses to this very difficult question I put out on Twitter. I asked everybody to share with me their top three favorite group of heroes in JRPGs. And here's what we got. At Fearing Heart puts Artanelico 2 and the Surge Concerto up there. And also Near Automata and Drakengard 3. Awesome picks. And we also got a little bit of love for Final Fantasy IV. At Oops Platforming is showing some love to Final Fantasy Tactics, Persona 4, and Dragon Quest XI. Couldn't agree more. At Krim Rui, Final Fantasy VII, Tales of the Abyss, and Persona 4. Way to go. Sailor Scout Mary is also giving another vote to Dragon Quest XI. At Decredia, Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy VIII, and Super Mario RPG. Always nice to see some love for Super Mario RPG. Devil May Pie. Persona 4, Trails from Zero, and Azure, and also Final Fantasy VII. Sega Blocks, showing some love to the Legend of Dragoon, man of quality. Gary Likes Games, Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. You know, three houses actually almost made this list for me. 
and also Tales of Symphonia and Shining Force. Kamo is also giving some more love to Dragon Quest XI. Il Da giving a vote to a game that I'm about to butcher the name of, but Mana Kimia Student Alliance. Hate me in the comments. Sorry, guys. Eternal Sonata and Criminal Girls Invite Only. Ooh, spicy. At Person Conchi, we got some Chrono Trigger and another Tales of Abyss. I gotta get on this Tales of Abyss. I keep hearing about it. Michael Reed is giving some love to Scarlet Nexus, Valkyria Chronicles, and Chrono Trigger. Uh, Scarlet Nexus needs a lot of love. That game is amazing. Zach Payne, Persona 5, Final Fantasy X, and Octopath Traveler. There we go. I was expecting to see more Final Fantasy X and Octopath, but way to go. Quentin Williams, Final Fantasy VII, Tales of Destiny, and Valkyria Chronicles. Yes, it is very difficult to only pick three. Yuri Von Zanat, Shadow Hearts, Cold Steel, and Grandia 2. At Dr. Eck 1 3, Gimme That Sora Donald Goofy Party. Classic. Yeah, there we go. Some Kingdom Hearts. Well, friends, that wraps it up. There's my top 10 favorite parties in JRPGs. Very difficult list to make. As I said, this is not a definitive list. So let me know down in the comments, what's your favorite group of heroes in JRPGs? Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe and hit that notification bell for some more JRPG content. And until then, I'll see you all next time.